So a lot of you may be wondering this if you even care about the IROC series. But um today's finish and controversy. The twenty car did not win the race. And I'm going to explain how he is not the winner. Right, so if we look at this footage, I'm throwing fly shells side by side. Now, it's hard to tell in the video, but in the next image, it's going to show how Arthur actually did pass under the double yellow line here. And so you can see he actually stays committed to underneath the line when Flyshelf gives him room to come back up. Screenshot, Arthur is back bumper is behind Flyshelf's. Now, you are not... This was right before Flyshelf got off of him from forcing him under the line. If you don't think that was enough, this was coming to the line. Arthur, staying committed to the apron, going out and passing Flyshelf, which is actually illegal to do. One of the plate track rules I have that was not included in the rule book, because it's not required at every single track, it's only two tracks it's required at. You cannot force someone under the other line. If you're forcing someone, you have 10 seconds to actually get off of that person. If I should have got off of him, to me it looked like within 7 seconds. He stayed commit. Arthur stayed committed to being under that double yellow line. Right on all the way to the line. Even across the line, I think. And that is a big no-no. Even if someone gets off of you, you're supposed to go back to the top with them. Or start trying to force them up the racetrack. Because if you pass under that double yellow line, well, what happened to Arthur could happen to you. Well, hope you enjoyed the video. Pe peace.